Welcome everyone, this is Mel at Sniper Central, and welcome to the next episode of Sniper Talk. Over the last hundred years, sniper rifles haven't really changed a whole bunch. And in fact, this number four Mark one t out of the Sniper Central collection uh, kind of shows some of the same things that you see on a sniper rifle today. Anywhere from a BDC knob, a scope, raised cheek piece, kind of the same type of stuff. Of course, it has a wood stock and some other uh, older features, but it even has a detachable box magazine. Well, there's actually something that's kind of new that the folks at Ritter and Stark have kind of led the way. There's other rifle manufacturers that do it as well, but they have a quick change barrel on their rifle. So they're trying to make one rifle, uh, their SX-1, be able to fit multiple rolls, uh, you know, so you can have a 338 as well as have a 308 all from the same rifle. Save some money, save some training uh, because it's all the same system. But the question is, Will that rifle actually hold it zero when you change barrels and swap back to the barrel? And so the only way for us to be able to figure that out is to go and test it. So what we uh, plan to do is to go out to the range. We're going to shoot a group without cutting the film, without cutting the camera, so that you can see that it all happens uh, in one take, in one, one uh, real time. We're going to remove the barrel. We're going to put the barrel back on. We're going to go back and re fire again to see where the groups shift and to see how well it maintains uh, that zero. Now we're also going to demonstrate how easy it is to change the barrel, to change the caliber on that rifle. Uh, it was a, kind of a revelation when we went over to Austria and visited their factory. Uh, we were very impressed with the meticulous effort that went into their engineering and their design and their manufacturing. We were very impressed with their facility. Uh, but we actually wanted to see if this rifle would hold up to what they claim it will do. And so come along with us and let's go check it out.
concludes our Sniper Central video segment of the barrel swap and the point of impact shifts we get with the Ritter and Stark SX1. Now Brian was an awesome trigger man as you can see from our last shot group. That's three shots with the barrel in place, pulled the barrel, three additional shots, all on film live, real time, so you can see the handiwork that Brian displayed here. It's a real amazing accomplishment that a company has been able to machine things to such tolerances to hold those kind of repeatability. I mean, that's unheard of. I have not seen that, and I've been in the industry for quite some time. What about you? I thought it shot great. Could have been a better shooter behind the rifle, but tightened things up a little bit. But rifle did its part, by sure. I think it's a it's a pretty awesome, capable weapon system. Uh, the loophole the optic, um, that's pretty impressive. Uh, first time I've been impressed with an optic in a really long time. Those two together, that's a, that's a force to be reckoned with. Great job.